high cholesterol explained what you need to know in this video we'll answer some of the most common questions about raised cholesterol levels and how they impact your health whether you're curious about the causes risks or how to manage cholesterol we've got you covered let's get started Welcome to Health Tips with Shalom Health. Thanks so much for watching today. The tips I'm providing are for information purposes only. Please don't make any changes in your health regimen without talking to your doctor first. What is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a fatty substance found in your blood. While your body needs it to build healthy cells, having high cholesterol can increase the risk of heart disease. Cholesterol travels through your bloodstream with the help of two main types of lipoproteins, LDL and HDL. What is the difference between LDL and HDL? LDL, which is low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, is known as bad cholesterol because it causes the development and buildup of plaques on the walls of your arteries. That increases your chances of getting cardiovascular diseases, that is, diseases of the heart and blood vessels. HDL, high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, is known as good cholesterol. HDL takes the bad LDL cholesterol out of your blood and keeps it from building up in your arteries. What is a normal cholesterol level? This table is a general guide for cholesterol for healthy adults in the UK and the USA. Please note the different units of measurement. If you are at higher risk of cardiovascular disease or if you already have CVD, cardiovascular disease, coronary heart disease, heart attack, stroke, diabetes, etc., then your healthcare professional will discuss specific cholesterol lowering targets with you based on current national guidelines. What are healthy levels of cholesterol after a stroke or heart attack? If you have ever had a stroke or heart attack, you may be at a higher risk of having another. Therefore, the recommended cholesterol levels for you are lower. This is often achieved using medications. Here are the acceptable levels after a heart attack or stroke. Please note these are UK figures. Total cholesterol, 4 millimoles per liter or below. LDL cholesterol, 2 millimoles per liter or below. What causes raised cholesterol levels? Raised cholesterol can be caused by several factors, including poor diet, high in saturated fats, trans fats, and cholesterol. Lack of physical activity or a sedentary lifestyle. Smoking. Excessive alcohol consumption. Genetics, as some people inherit high cholesterol from their parents, age, since cholesterol levels tend to rise as we get older. How do I know if my cholesterol is high? The only way to know if you have high cholesterol is through a simple blood test called a lipid panel. This test measures your total cholesterol, LDL or bad cholesterol, HDL or good cholesterol, and triglycerides. Please note that the home cholesterol testing kits do not usually measure the full lipid profile, which is needed in order to make an assessment of your cardiovascular risk. What are the risks of high cholesterol? When cholesterol builds up in the arteries, it can form plaques. These plaques narrow the arteries, making it harder for blood to flow through. High cholesterol increases your risk of heart disease, stroke, heart attacks, peripheral artery disease. What food contributes to high cholesterol? Certain foods can raise your cholesterol levels. These include saturated fats found in red meat, butter, and full fat dairy. Trans fats often found in packaged snacks, baked goods, and fast food. Fried foods and processed foods like chips and cookies. What foods can help lower cholesterol? To help lower cholesterol, choose foods that are heart healthy. 
fruits and vegetables rich in fiber and antioxidants, whole grains like oats and brown rice, fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, which are high in omega-3 fatty acids, nuts and seeds, especially walnuts and flax seeds, which help lower LDL cholesterol. How can I lower my cholesterol without medication? You can manage your cholesterol levels with lifestyle changes. Exercise regularly, aiming for at least 30 minutes a day. Eat a heart-healthy diet, low in saturated and trans fats. Quit smoking and limit alcohol consumption. Maintain a healthy weight to help keep cholesterol levels in check. Are medications necessary to lower cholesterol? In some cases, lifestyle changes alone may not be enough. If your cholesterol is very high, your doctor might prescribe medications like statins or other cholesterol-lowering drugs to help manage your levels. How often should I check my cholesterol? Adults should have their cholesterol checked at least once every four to six years, starting at age 20. Males need more frequent testing, that is one to two yearly, from age 45 to 65, and then yearly afterwards. Females need more frequent testing from 55 to 65 years, that is one to two yearly, and then yearly afterwards. The older you get, the more often you need to have it checked. However, it is important to note if you have risk factors like a family or personal history of heart disease, stroke, or diabetes, you may need more frequent tests as advised by your physician. To find out if you could be at risk of heart disease or stroke, please take time to watch the relevant videos on this channel. And please visit your doctor so that a formal assessment can be undertaken. There is no lower limit of age of testing when it comes to familial hypercholesterolemia, that is high cholesterol that runs in families. Children as young as two years of age have been known to be diagnosed with it. Can stress affect my cholesterol levels? Yes, stress can play a role in your cholesterol levels. Chronic stress can raise hormone levels in the body, e.g. cortisol, which has effects on the heart and blood vessels. Chronic stress can also lead to unhealthy behaviors like overeating, smoking, and poor diet choices, all of which can increase cholesterol. Managing stress through relaxation techniques like mindfulness can help. Can cholesterol levels be too low? While high cholesterol is a major concern, having too low a cholesterol level can also cause problems. Extremely low cholesterol may increase the risk of cancer and other health issues, so it's important to maintain a balance. Final tips for heart healthy living. By making healthy lifestyle choices like eating a balanced diet, staying active, and managing stress, you can keep your cholesterol in check and reduce your risk of heart disease. Remember, it's never too late to start taking care of your heart. If you have any more questions about cholesterol or how to live a healthy life, please put it in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them or talk to your healthcare provider. If you have found value in this video, please like or share it and please subscribe so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching. God bless.